Hi guys. So country you must not visit in Africa. African countries that you should not dream of visiting because your own country is better than that country. Number one, Ghana. Don't dream of like I don't understand. You have you are you are an, you are an African person and you want to travel to Ghana to go and stay. Like why? Nothing they happen for Ghana. There's no difference between Ghana and your country. Nothing they happen. If you go to Ghana, if you say you want to go and look, you want to locate to Ghana, you end up eating egg. You could just the mess, 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 polluting mess up and down. Because the only thing you are going to eat, there's no good food. The only thing you'll be eating in Ghana is egg, banku, egg. And they are soup, eh? Have you seen Ghana soup? Ghana soup, now water, water, oh. Then they pull leaf, all those kinds of things for their soup. Water, they go just pull water, pack plenty meat and pepper. Ordinary pepper, oh, they no grind. Come put egg, join, inside soup. Come give you banku, man, they chop. I don't understand. I don't understand. They will come and speak Charlie, 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 Charlie. So African countries, you must not do visa and travel to number one, Ghana. Yes. Number two. Imagine you wake up in the morning and seeing this kind of person talking. Already, you know, these kind of people, now, Asha, what did they do already? You know, see people who they do Asha, they know the, you know, in those days, we say Asha, no get man. In those days, that's what they normally say. People who they do Asha, they know they get respect. They talk anyhow. They talk rash. They talk in anyhow. Anyhow, when you see them, do better work for them. They the Asha, they know they get respect already. We all know what are you talking? Asha, know they get look and they know they get locations. They talk rash. They talk rough nonsense. That is this kind of people. That is the world they feed them. Feed them. Remember when they are playing ball? I don't even think he's a Nigerian. So she's not a Nigerian. So I think he's a Cameroonian. That is what they love to do. They are claiming they love Nigerians. Oh, you, we all know <laughs> they don't love you know now they, they are all fake all i remember that when i when they are they are playing upcon making one video that uh, oh if all if nigerian if all nigerian win is going to give ourselves blah 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 and all those things just because it's that is how cameroonian there is i don't even think majority of you be angry and i think it's a nigerian i don't think it's a nigerian yes it's not although nigerian normally this is the will of nigerian attacking ghana we all know already but this particular one it's not Nigerian, it's the Cameroonians. Yes, yeah, that is what they love to do. That is their way of their life. Okay, they think they will use, they, they always use fake love to a Nigerian using Nigerian as a face, dragging problem for Nigerians, and you will see a lot of Nigeria clapping hands for them. <laughs> you see, they're using your own head and you are clapping hard for them. Okay, that, okay, let's watch this video. That is I don't have any word for her. But if you have a word for her, leave it on the comment section. Let's just continue. Let's continue. Okay. Finally, the reason why I moved to Ghana, here it is. <laughs> I just fell in love in Ghana and I was like, let's try it. Let's see how this love is gonna um, feel when I'm actually living here. So I just came here for experience. And a lot of people assume that I came here for a boyfriend or my boyfriend brought me here. But no, Lindicha is not here because of a boyfriend. So my first time in Ghana was in 2018. I got invited from a very good friend. She's from Ghana and we spent Christmas in Ghana in 2018. And I was like, wow, the energy, the vibe, the vibration, the people, everything was just, I was just feeling so comfortable and so welcomed and so happy. And I don't know it's just a feeling that a lot of people you probably have seen videos can't explain and i think it's just because if you come from the western world for the first time to an african country the feeling it gives you is maybe something like it feels like you are free you are back home you are accepted it's like so many things that um you never consider when you are actually outside of this feeling 2023 i decided to move to ghana i was already since 2018 always saying how does it feel to actually live in ghana because i always came for a vacation and my vacation lasted in ghana between four and six weeks um, i came once or twice a year so i really got to know ghana and the culture and the system how everything works so i got comfortable and because i got comfortable that was where i was like let's try to move here for a longer period of time and now it's been almost a year that i'm here 
So what a lot of people also ask me is what do I actually work? I work in sales. I sell products, um, services, and everything that has to do with construction and real estate. And I work for multiple companies as a sales executive. Next to that job, I also work as a model. Then I also am a talent agent, talent manager. I have one uh, talent I manage, get bookings and help with marketing. And my last job is I do events. And yeah, that's about four jobs I think I have. Yeah, and this is what I do in Ghana. For now, I'm happy. So the goal for me in Ghana is to establish a business or some investments. I haven't found the right uh, opportunity yet or the right um, business yet, but I'm working on it and I hope it goes well. And yeah, this is why I moved to Ghana. You see, as you can see now, she give us a good reason, good reason. Why she visit Ghana? She give a good reason. But African woman, especially not even African, Nigeria. Said when in Nigeria come, uh, my first time in Ghana, and I don't like their bamboo soup. Uh, I don't like their soup. I don't like this. Uh, they shop egg. Uh, they do this. This is white woman visit Ghana. It's still up to a year, right? Don't give an excuse. She don't say you don't spoil Ghana. Oh no. Say food no good. This one no good. She don't say anything like that. She give a good reason. Why she say Ghana? Good reason. Okay. Let's go to the second one. She don't spend one year in Ghana, right? Now we are going to the second video. And see what she's going to tell us. I moved to Ghana one year ago and this is what I would do different. First most important thing is have my idea, my business idea ready before I come here because when I'm here and I know what I want to do then it's easier for me to find the right people network to the right people and in Ghana networking is key like everyone is gonna ask you what are you doing in Ghana so you can be like oh this is me and this is what I do and they will help you network you to the right people very fast Without an idea or without you knowing what you want to do in Ghana, you will be lost very fast because if you're trying to figure it out why you are in Ghana, you will get lost because Ghana is a country where there is, it's very calm, peaceful, there's no rush, everything is very calm. Whatever you are trying to do will take longer than you expect. So for that, have your ideas ready to showcase and you will be fine. The second most important thing is savings. You need savings if you don't have passive income streams. And by that is most people don't know how expensive Ghana actually is. Ghana is kind of like the Dubai of African countries. Um, it's very expensive and whatever your standard is from where you are coming from, maybe, you know, America, Canada or Europe, everything what is your standard in Ghana is luxury. So if you want a apartment with a shower, with a pump, with a generator, security and stuff like that, this is luxury here and you will have to pay more. If you don't have savings for like at least six months to a year so you can actually be peaceful in your mind to not be worried about the finances while you try to establish your business that would help you a lot so the third important thing is that you don't lose track of your focus the focus is to come here and establish income or invest so you have passive income but ghana can distract you very easily so um, you will get invited a lot to go out for drinks dinners uh, get away on the weekend clubs events festivals like ghana is always like something going on and they like to party a lot they like to socialize a lot and um, nothing against you can do that but don't lose track of that holidays feeling um, of what you are actually trying to do here and yeah find a balance
focus during the week and maybe have fun on the weekend or whatever. But I have to say, um, if you get invited to dinner or drinks with people who you know they have a good network or they can help you network, then you should definitely take the time and go out with them for a network purpose. If you don't follow these steps or these tips, then Ghana will chop your money fast and quickly. So this is what me and everyone else is going to tell you. If you are not careful enough and don't have a strategy of what you want to do in Ghana, Ghana will chop you. These are the three most important things that I think I would do different. And yeah, if you have any questions, you feel free to comment and I will try my best to give answers. Okay, now, this is a white woman, right? And the difference between white woman and Nigerian woman, I just want you to understand in this video. Okay, now, a white woman visit Ghana for good one year. He take her time, he studying Ghana, and now she not sharing her own experience that uh, you already have in Ghana. And what is the experience? Now she's planning how to bring his business idea. You need to have money. And like, good reason, are you not educating with what she said? Are you not educating with what she said? Okay, now, talk about Nigerian. When Nigerian ladies or women enter Ghana, what is their own experience? They want to rob Ghana. I think they want to rob Ghana. Use Ghana as a traffic, uh, as the like the way of income traffic. Talk rash on Ghana. No good reason. Go and investigating all, most of the majority of the, oh, always they have experience. No good idea, no business idea, nothing. They always have experience talking rash, talking nonsense from the Nigerian women celebrity from the top. But let me just let be honest, honest just to how many Ghana celebrity women go to Nigeria? You have heard that oh, they are eating egg. Oh, go to social media saying this, but from Nigerian women celebrity to the normal single ladies, Nigerian single who come Ghana. They always have, they must carry one button, stone gun. That is the reason why we are not welcoming. See what the other lady was saying. Saying rubbish, same sorts of things. See? And that is the reason. Ghanaians said they even prepared to white thing to welcome people, but not Nigerians. Because when you come, you are spoiling the identity of their name. How do you expect them to be welcome as time come? See her the way this white woman is still almost a year now. She have a lot of experience, but somebody that just from Nigeria reach here just for a month, you know, even reach a month, just five days. Only experience she have. How can you have experience in country with just between five days? Five days, you don't have experience. You talk talk rubbish, you started talk rubbish in between five days. Uh, may God help the majority of you. Go well, God bless this white woman, okay? And I just want to thank everybody. My name is Masamane Yana Yanis. Thank everybody and bye-bye for now. And those of you who are doing that thing, continue the way time comes. You on time will tell. When time comes, you all understand. Bye-bye for now.